Sometimes a main idea in a selection is implied, only suggested by the supporting details and not clearly stated in one sentence. To figure out an implied main idea, you must look at the supporting details. Look at the following cartoon. You can figure out the implied main idea here by noting the details. The man's co-workers are complaining that he doesn't leave coffee for anyone else. Also, he has such a caffeine high that he is flying. The clearly implied idea is that he is drinking too much coffee. This cartoon and the one in 10 Steps to Advanced Reading on page 99 help us understand implied main ideas. Now look at the following paragraph. The family introduces children to the physical world by providing opportunities to play and to explore objects. The family also creates bonds for children with their parents and siblings that usually last a lifetime and that serve as models for relationships in the wider world of neighborhood and school. In addition, within the family, children experience their first social conflicts. Discipline by parents and arguments with brothers and sisters provide children with important lessons in compliance and cooperation. Finally, within the family, children learn the language, skills, and social and moral values of their culture. The main idea of this paragraph is not directly stated. To find it, ask two questions. What is the paragraph about? What is the main point the author is trying to make about the topic? Look again at the paragraph. Looking at the paragraph again, you may realize that it is all about the family and children. And what point is being made about the family and children? What point is supported by all the details in the paragraph? All the details talk about the importance of the family in the lives of children. The main point, then, is that the family has a profound effect on the lives of children. Here are hints to keep in mind for identifying the topic and implied main idea. First of all, look for repeated words. In the passage just considered, the words family and children appeared in almost every sentence. Also, look for addition words, which signal major details. Just as a reminder, here are some common addition words. One, for one thing, in addition, first of all, another, last, second, also, finally. Look again at the passage where this time the addition words have been marked. As you see, the addition words also and in addition and finally, all serve to signal major supporting details, and the major details help you figure out the main idea. Here is another passage to consider. Because most students are unmarried, high schools and colleges serve as matchmaking institutions. It is at school that many young people find their future spouses. Schools also establish social networks. Some adults maintain friendships from high school and college. Others develop networks that benefit their careers. Another function of schools is to provide employment. With 53 million students in grade and high schools and another 15 million enrolled in colleges, U.S. education is big business. Primary and secondary schools provide jobs for 2.9 million teachers, while another million work in colleges and universities. Schools also help stabilize employment. To keep millions of young people in school is to keep them out of the labor market, protecting the positions of older workers. Last of all, schools help stabilize society by keeping these millions off the streets where they might be marching and protesting in search of unskilled jobs long lost to other nations. In this passage, what are the repeated words throughout the passage? Take a minute to consider. The words that are repeated are schools and colleges, and in fact, schools and colleges are the topic. What point is being made about schools and colleges? To figure out the point, notice first the addition words in the passage. You'll see the addition words also, another, 
also again, and last of all. These addition words signal major supporting details in the passage. And the point about schools and colleges that is signaled by all the details is that schools and colleges serve a number of functions in our society. Implied main ideas in longer passages. At times you may need to figure out on your own an author's unstated central idea, also called a thesis, in a longer passage. To find an implied central idea in a longer passage, ask the same questions that help you find main ideas in paragraphs. 1. What is the passage about? What is the topic? 2. What is the point the author is making about that topic? And when you think you know the central idea, you can test it by asking, does all or most of the material in the passage support this idea? In summary, to summarize, sometimes authors do not suggest their main idea clearly in one sentence. In such cases, you must figure out the main idea by considering the supporting details. Ask yourself what is the topic of those details and then ask what point is being made about the topic. And when you think you know the answer, test yourself by asking, does all or most of the material in the passage support this idea?